Figuration has been a long sustained tradition in Indian art. Sotheby's upcoming sale of modern and contemporary South Asian art celebrates a century of Indian artists who adopted the language of international modernism while remaining firmly rooted in the distinct context of India. Gods and goddesses have always been the most illustrated theme in Indian art. Raja Ravi Varma is fated to be the first Indian painter to cast Indian gods and mythical characters in earthly surroundings. This painting was inspired by a photo from the theatre show The Feast of Roses. It is fascinating to see how he took the posture and stance of the European woman and transformed her features into his vision of an idealised Indian beauty. The colonisation of India attracted a large number of European artists who were drawn to the wonders of what they considered to be an exotic and alien culture. One such artist was Horace Van Ruud. Here he portrays everyday life in a Brahmin household. Using the courtyard to add serenity to the setting, Van Ruud brilliantly captures the character of each family member. Post-independence, the figure in Indian art became connected with the conception and dissemination of a new nation's artistic and cultural identity. Makbul Fida Hussain was a founding member of the Progressive Artist Group, for whom the female figure were an enduring subject in his way of expressing a vital quality of Indianness. Shiva Parvati is a profound example of Hussain's unique blend of post-independence and post-impressionist painting. Four Women from 1971 is a masterpiece in Hussain's opus. Closely linked in composition to Pablo Picasso's Les Demoiselles de Avignon, Four Women flawlessly merges European modernism and Indian sensibility. Hussein's co-founder in the progressive artist group, Francis Newton Souza, was another artist who remained true to figuration at a time when the most striking achievements made in painting were in the direction of abstraction. Jahangir Sabawala's sublime rendition of Pieta showcases his consolidation of the figure with the plasticity of synthetic cubism. The viewer must concentrate in the center of the work and Christ artfully emerges as a beige figure, cradled by Mary in very dark robes. One can glean a semblance of the brighter apostles flocking around the two central figures from amidst fractured planes. K.K. Heber's sympathy for the poor and those suffering from displacement, conflict or famine is embodied in victims. His awe of the figurative form is tempered by the distinct awareness of destruction and pity. The harshness of the lines is elevated by the sober grey earthly palette. Ganesh Pine was an iconic Indian Surrealist painter from East India. Prince is a characteristic example of his success in traversing the unusual bridge between the flat surface of a canvas and a 3D illusion. This sale wonderfully documents how India's shift from a colonial state to a sovereign nation impacted artistic trends through milestone figurative work by pioneering artists.